We're here at CES 2023, and we just got a look at the booth from LG Display. Like previous years, they showed us their latest generation of OLED technology. But we also got a look at a few concepts that give us a clue of what to expect in the coming year. This year, LG Display is showing off two new concepts for foldable displays. The first is a 17-inch foldable laptop concept. Now, this is definitely not the first foldable laptop we've ever seen, but LG Display claims this one is crease-free and that it's been tested for up to 50,000 folds. We looked at it pretty closely, and you can see a little bit of a seam where it folds, but when it's fully extended, it's pretty hard to detect. Now, if you compare that to some of the earlier concepts we've seen of foldable display tech, it looks a lot better. Some of those, they kind of lifted in the middle. There was a very visible crease. If you ran your finger over it, you could definitely feel it. This one looked very, very smooth. It seemed like if you're using it, you probably wouldn't be able to feel it very much. But of course, it's something that we'd have to really test out for ourselves to know for sure. We also got a look at an eight inch, 360 degree foldable OLED display. Now, this one folds up similar to Samsung's Galaxy Fold phone, but it's actually able to fold in both directions. LG Display says this can maybe allow an eventual device, like a phone, to be used in multiple different modes. Of course, it would depend on hardware makers and app developers to decide how to use a device like this. But it's pretty interesting to think about how you might want to use a phone when it's folded in the other direction. We also saw what might be the tiniest OLED display I've ever seen, a 0.42 inch panel that we actually needed a magnifying glass to see properly. At that size, you can imagine that this might be used in some kind of smart glasses or other factor. Most of the devices we saw today are just prototypes or concept devices that give us a hint of what might be coming in the next year. They work with a lot of other companies that use their display tech and sort of build them into their devices. Exactly how this will end up translating to future devices, we'll still have to see. But this gives us a pretty good idea of what we might expect in 2023. If you want more news from CES 2023, keep following Engadget.